So in this video, we will create a migration for our tasks. To do that, I just press the up arrow key to get the last migration I created. And then I'll call it tasks. So I hit enter. And then we wait. The migrations get created. Remember that a task has to belong to a user and also belong to a project. So we go over to the tasks. We can just copy uh, these two guys because we will be needing them. I'm just going to copy some things I need here. So a task has a name. We need to track the user that created the task. So tab table um, string, the name of the task. Then uh, we need to know the uh, the company, the project it belongs to, and that's an integer. And uh, it's a project ID, and uh, it's unsigned. Okay, cool. So we need to know the user that created it too. So we'll duplicate and say user ID, user ID, and it's unsigned. So we need to tell it that um, it belongs to these two people. So we'll just go and copy what we have here. And um, paste it because I'm lazy. I don't want to type it. So we're going to tell you that the user ID belongs to the user's table and the project ID belongs to the project's table. Project ID belongs to the project's table. Projects. Now, um, just for just for fun, let us also make it belong to the um, company table because eventually a company might need like major tasks before they need minor tasks. But we may not use it immediately, but eventually... We might need it further down the line so that we don't just have to come back and start uh, fixing those. So we have this pro uh, task uh, sorted out. The next thing we need to know about task is the, the length of days it should take, the time it should take, all right? I think um, we, we need to figure out a way to enter the time, the length of days or hours it should take, all right? The R must be an integer uh, because it can be either one hour, two hours, or so. So we can just say, um, do we say duration? And it has to be in hours, okay? And this same thing goes for the project. A project must have a number of hours or days. So we can have duration two for projects. All we just have to break it down to um, hours and just say um, days for a project. A project can only take a number of days, but then a task can take um, hours. So I can just say hours. And we say days too. So that when we are coding, we'll figure out which one we, works best for us, all right? Now this is done, the last one remaining is the comments. And um, the comment is a little bit different from the way uh, we created all these ones because we will be introducing a new uh, concept in Laravel um, when creating the comments. Because remember, the comment has to belong to all these other guys because we want it to be possible for anybody to comment on anything. All right? So see you in the next video where we work out the comments.